when you're at your lowest point and you're down and depressed, you feel like you have no hope. And it's difficult if you don't get yourself out of there quick, because what happens is you start accepting demands and opinions and actions that you would never normally accept if you was at your optimal self. It's because you're so low that your whole energy and morals and values take a massive hit as well. That's why you see so many people take up bad habits when they're in a bad state. I mean, how many people have turned to drugs in an attempt to find a way out? And once you're on that stuff, it's extremely difficult to pick yourself up again because you're relying on these substances and they start controlling you rather than you controlling yourself. Now, I know that they're giving antidepressants out like sweets nowadays at the doctors. And I know you hear people say, oh, you should be mentally strong or you can do it without medication. You're just being weak. But it all depends on your level of depression and mental strength. If everything is failing around you and for you and you feel like you've tried everything, but it's the end of the road. Taking antidepressants is better than taking your life. The sad thing is when you're depressed is that you think so low of yourself that you just want someone, anyone to pick you up and love you. You almost don't care who it is because you just want anyone in that moment. That's where it becomes dangerous. You could find love and affection from a toxic person and you would completely overlook all the negative red flags to just get that feeling of attachment. And also you might not even be attracted to that person. It's just that they're just as depressed as you and your energy levels are matching. So you find companionship in each other. But what's keeping you together truly is this negativity. People who are unhappy or even in pain tend to take comfort in knowing that they're not alone in their suffering. So they make others miserable too. So you just carry on. So what happens is you just carry on this negative downward trajectory together. So if you are in this situation where everything feels so heavy that even your chest hurts, then realize it's going to be hard, a struggle to start with and a long process, but you can get out of this, but you have to want to get better and be willing to do whatever it takes to get better. Three things I want you to do, and they're not difficult, they just require discipline. First step is to clean up your room. Me personally, I feel like my days are a mess when my room is a mess, and I'm not OCD or anything like that. But just the basics, like making your bed every morning, putting away your clothes so that nothing bees on the floor, decluttering your space, your table, your cabinets around you. Your room is your first thing you see when you wake up. So don't let your personal environment hypnotize you into thinking your life is a mess. Second step is create a list of small tasks or goals and hold yourself accountable to complete them within a fixed time frame. And what that does is it creates a sense of accomplishment to inspire yourself to keep moving forward. And I heard Jordan Peterson talk about this and he says that the changes in your life have to be made in small steps. And that is the accumulative effect of these regular small steps that helps bring about change. And it's 100% true. Think about it. You are depressed because your life needs to change. The old way isn't working for you. Living the way you have has been making you ill. Think about something small you can do. Even if it takes a lot of effort, that will still make a difference. And be proud of yourself for doing that small thing. And then later on, do another small thing that will make a difference. All these small acts will eventually make a big difference. Trust me when I say this, I've been there. It helps. Lastly, I've personally got a whiteboard with days of the week on and I structure my days out every single week and it feels 
like everything is a lot more doable rather than overwhelming. When I break things up visually, it helps me big time because otherwise it feels like I've got 10 things to do at once. And then when I'm doing one thing, my head starts thinking about the other tasks that I have to do. And then you stop thinking about the thing you're working on to work on the other thing. And then you end up just doing nothing. And then you end up not getting any of them done truly because you're not focusing properly on one task. So staying on a schedule is definitely going to be beneficial for you if you're feeling down. All you've got to do is just focus on what needs to be done for that day and nothing else. Don't look at Friday, Thursday, Saturday when you're still on Tuesday. Just complete Tuesday's tasks and it will put a lot of ease into your life and bring a sense of control back into your life, which is the most important thing. Now, at the end of the day, look, it's going to be hard, but you have to manage to find a way and reinvent yourself. You have to do it. And I really hope you do, because when you look back, I promise you, you will look back at your old self or the negative people that you were around and you will realize that what attracted you when you were broken and depressed actually disgusts you now that you've healed.